From the title of this video, some of you might be thinking to yourselves, um, what else is there to eat? Isn't it just to do the do? Yes, you're right, okay, because we know people who, if their husbands as much as sneeze in that direction, they are going to get pregnant. But for some people, it is not that simple, okay? It is a lot complicated than most people think. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you tips on how to get pregnant fast. I'm also going to be telling you things that your doctor might not actually tell you about, surprisingly. And also, I'm going to tell you things that you can do while you wait to conceive, okay? Yes, so let's just jump right into it. Now, a disclaimer. Just because I said these are tips to help you get pregnant fast, it doesn't mean that you are actually going to get pregnant fast because different people have different cases and they have things that are unique to their cases, which I might not cover in this video, okay? But I'm just telling you tips that can help you, you know, speed up the process of you getting pregnant, okay? Yeah, so number one, know your cycle. Yes, a lot of women do not actually know their cycle. Now, what is your cycle? Your cycle simply means the time from the first day of your period to the first day of your next period how many days it takes you to get from day one of your period to day one of your next period okay so how many days in between that is what your cycle is some people have 28 days which is like the normal range i think the normal range between 28 and 35 days some people have more some people have less okay for some people it's pretty regular while for some people it is all over the place okay for some people it even goes further they know when they are ovulating they have signs of ovulation such as pain you know in their lower abdomen and you know changes in their cervical mucus and stuff like that but basically just generally know your body okay know how many days it usually takes you to get your next cycle there are actually apps that you can download on your phone that help you track your periods okay because whenever you go and see a doctor they are going to ask you when was your last menstrual period which is your lmp so it's better for you to just know it now the next tip which everybody knows about is have sex but there's a catch to it okay you need to have sex often you need to have adequate sex because believe it or not the window for a woman's fertility is actually very very short okay just a few days in a month that you know a woman is fertile so you need to have sex often enough so that you are having sex when you should okay now some people say that if you have too much sex it can actually reduce the quality of the sperm which can actually affect your fertility i don't know about that i don't know if there's any scientific backing for that but all i know is just have enough sex okay and one thing a lot of people who are waiting to conceive are going to agree with me on is that at some point sex between you and your husband is going to become like a clinical procedure okay it's going to become very boring it's going to be like you're just guinea pigs that are just you know trying an experiment okay yes yeah, so one thing you should just always keep in mind is you should try and make it as fun and as normal as possible try to remove it from your mind of course that's going to be very difficult but try to remove it from your mind that this is sex to try for a baby okay just try and enjoy the process and in some cases you notice that when it's around your ovulation period that is when you and your husband are going to quarrel that is when the devil is going to step in and try to make both of you quarrel for that period and then after your ovulation has passed then both of you are in good terms okay so you need to actually be very very mindful of that and cast and bind the devil okay whenever your ovulation period is coming closer try and be on your best behavior try and swallow everything you can swallow after your ovulation has passed then you can now deal with the issues that arise between the both of you okay number three eat well and exercise now a lot of doctors don't actually talk about this and i don't know why because trust me i have seen so many doctors and none of them asked me about what i eat or how i eat and or if i exercise or whatever but this is actually very 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 important what you eat can actually affect your fertility yes gone are the days when you know by virtue of how our society was structured people used to eat a lot of healthy food people used to eat a lot of fresh farm produce a lot of vegetables a lot of you know healthy organic foods okay gone are those days now a lot of things are canned a lot of things are processed a lot of things are you know 
um, genetically modified. A lot of things are grown with, you know, all kinds of chemicals. You don't know what these things are doing to your system. Now, I am not saying that it is affecting everybody or it affects everybody. But if you know that it is becoming a little bit difficult for you to get pregnant, then you have to be mindful of what you eat, okay? Try and eat fresh, organic food. Try and, you know, make your own food. Try and resist eating out. Try and reduce the quantity of oil and, you know, carbs that you eat. But just basically just try and eat healthy okay because food is actually medicine for your body you can actually heal your body with what you eat okay and try and exercise so that things in your body are going to work properly okay yeah exercise often but be very mindful of what you eat even down to the type of water you drink some of this water that we people drink contain a lot of chemicals that you cannot see and you cannot even taste it but they are causing some damage in your body so be careful of what you eat and be careful of what you drink as well okay yeah so the next tip is try and get to a healthy weight try try all you can to get to a healthy weight okay if you are underweight try and add weight till you get a healthy weight if you are overweight try and lose weight till you get a, to a healthy weight okay being either overweight or underweight can actually affect your fertility because it tells your body that your body is not performing optimally for you to be able to carry a child so try and get to a healthy weight but while you are trying to get to a healthy weight especially if you are overweight do not take teas do not do fat diets do not take uh, supplements to help you lose weight just try and lose weight the healthy way okay slow and steady eat right exercise and try and lose weight the healthy way okay and if you are underweight try and gain weight the healthy way don't just go and start eating all the sugar and carbs and donuts and puff puff that you can lay your hands on because you're trying to add weight or all the things you can drink because you're trying to add weight they are actually healthy ways healthy carbs healthy food items that you can eat that can help you add weight now the next tip and this might actually be a controversial tip but i'm just gonna be the one to say it okay i have to say it try and do the keto diet if you can yes no doctor is going to advise you this a lot of doctors are actually against the keto diet i don't know why but i have done my research i have done the keto diet i have seen a lot of testimonies from the keto diet that makes me actually want to tell the whole world about it okay yes anybody who comes to meet me and asks me advice for you know fertility and all that i always tell them go and try the keto diet okay especially if you are overweight okay yes now what is the keto diet basically it is basically a high fat low carb diet okay high fat and low carb now one thing a lot of people don't know about the keto diet is that as much as it says high fat and low carbs you actually get a lot of your nutrients from vegetables not meats not oils not butter you get most of your nutrients your food consists more of vegetables than you know that's leafy green vegetables green vegetables you get most of your nutrients from it more than you get from meat and fish so i saw people that say that they're doing keto and all they're doing is just eating meat and fish and butter and just like what are you doing like why are you killing yourself but yeah one thing many people don't know is that carbs especially sugar processed sugar is actually the devil <laughs> when you are trying to conceive run away from processed sugar okay processed sugar you know um, fizzy drinks sugary drinks sugary foods actually can limit you know your body and make you infertile yes so i have seen people especially if you're having hormonal issues okay carbs can actually affect your hormones sugar sugar especially because when i say carbs i'm not talking about all kinds of carbs i'm talking about mostly processed sugar or excess carbs okay so we're not saying eliminate carbs from your diet totally we are saying reduce it at least to 20 milligrams a day or at most 50 milligrams a day but 50 milligrams is actually too much 20 milligrams a day is actually okay for you if you are not breastfeeding sugar can actually affect your hormones so just try and stay away from sugar i have seen people who 
we are not having regular periods. Once they started the keto diet, they started having regular periods. I've seen people who were not having periods at all, like they were having their periods maybe once a year or once in two years. And when they started doing the keto diet, they started having their regular periods every 28 days, okay? I have seen people who were not ovulating, but started ovulating after they went on the keto diet. In fact, when on the keto diet group on Facebook that I was in, at some point, a lot of women were not giving testimonies of they're now pregnant, they're now pregnant. Even the ones that did not plan it, even the ones that were not, you know, looking forward to getting pregnant, they actually got pregnant. So in that case, it's one of the side effects of keto, okay? So yeah, you can take my word for it. You can decide to do your own research. Um, I advise to do your own research, but if you are overweight, especially even if you are a healthy weight, there are healthy ways to do keto without you losing weight, okay? Try and do the keto diet, okay? So now the next tip is don't do drugs, do not smoke, and do not take alcohol. Yes, we all know somebody who drinks like a fish or who smokes like a chimney and the person gets pregnant every year. We know those people, okay? But that is not your case or that might not be your case, okay? So in order not to, you know, find out if it's your case or not, just avoid those things, okay? Now, if you're someone who drinks occasionally, you can just limit your drinking. I'm not saying you should stop it totally. If you're someone that doesn't drink at all, kudos to you. If you're someone who drinks a lot, I advise you to try and reduce your drinking drastically because drinking, especially because it contains a lot of carbs, can actually affect, you know, your fertility, especially alcohol intake. Alcohol intake can actually affect your fertility and it can actually affect your baby if you are pregnant. So just try and limit, you know, the quantity you take. If you are smoking, it's a no-no for me. Just, just stop it, okay? There's really no point. Just try and stop it. Um, if you are doing drugs, I mean, like, there's nothing I can say to you, <laughs> like, you know? So yeah, uh, without judgment, all I'm saying is please, for that period where you are trying to conceive, just stay away from these things, okay? It might actually be what is hindering your fertility. Now, the next tip, which is basically like the opposite of the other tip, is try and take good supplements, okay? If you are trying to conceive, if you are looking to conceive in the nearest future, even if you are not married, if you are looking to get married, if you are not even trying for a baby, in fact, that is the best time for you to, you know, optimize your health by taking good supplements okay supplements like coq10 like magnesium like iron because iron levels can actually affect your fertility like um omega-3 oils they are very very good for you know fertility um if you are having hormonal issues you can take things like evening primrose oil um you can take healthy teas green teas um you know just try and increase your your nutrients nutrients in your body so that your body can signal itself that you know we have enough okay we, in fact we have excess so let us bring a baby in so that we can you know give some to this baby okay yeah so just try and take good supplements up your supplement intake um vitamin c all those things that are healthy and are good try and take them if you don't like taking too many supplements you can just go and take like um pregnant care fertility or so pregnant care fertility the ones that are made for couples who are trying to get pregnant so they have the one that it's a, a package for both male and that's the husband and the wife or the man and the woman they have the ones that are just for the woman woman alone so try and take you know one supplement or the other folic acid yes that is like one of the most important please i just have to say this okay pregnant care folic acid is not going to make you get pregnant especially if you have issues okay they can help but they cannot cure your infertility issues because i've seen people who advise people just go and take pregnant care I, no if you have real issues pregnant care and folic acid is not going to do anything for you <laughs> but yeah just take them so that in case you get pregnant your baby is already getting nutrients from day one and even if you're not yet pregnant at least your body is performing and functioning properly whatever treatment whatever medication they now decide to give you will even work better when your you know your body is is working properly okay i hope i explained that well but yeah so the next one is when you are washing down there do not use harmful chemicals do not douche or douche or whatever do not put your hand now let me even clear up something okay i see people say things like use only water to wash down there okay use only water now let me just say this okay the vj area is actually inside okay 
inside is the VJ area, not the outside part. The inside, if you go and check diagram of you know a woman's reproductive organs or whatever, the inside is actually the VJ area. So that is where they are saying you should wash with just water. Do not put any douche or anything or any yoni pearls or any whatever it is that they, they call it. Do not put any of those things inside. It's a self-cleaning organ and as long as you are eating right, in fact, the only way to actually clean up yourself is by eating right. Eating the right foods that can help with your pH balance, taking things like apple cider vinegar to help with your pH balance, okay? That's the only way you can actually clean it from the inside. But do not go and put soap or hand or, you know, whatever people you know put up there just let the place breathe okay now that's for the inside but please for the outer area i beg try and wash it with even feminine wash okay try and wash it with something try and keep the place clean and wash it with something i don't know how people wash down there with only just water and they, and they feel like they are clean like it's disgusting to me because if it is it's even a no-brainer if it is a self-cleaning organ if it has cleaned the inside and the inside has come out i'm not supposed to clean the outside if they if they have swept out all the dirt inside the house, I'm not supposed to pack the dirt outside, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so all I'm saying is um, be careful how you how you treat that place anyway. Just be careful how you treat it. And also when you are doing this, you see how YouTube is making me be you know be censoring myself. Anyway, <laughs> when you are doing the do, okay, try and use um, lubricants that are safe for the sperm they are actually safe ones there's a particular one precede yeah precede is actually very safe for the sperm so you can use precede stay away from all those flavored or you know uh, scented or whatever you know lubricants just use precede precede is water based or so okay yes yes precede is water based so that's the best one to use while you're trying to get pregnant do not use all the oil based or whatever else liquid based lubricants that are out there okay and the next tip is Hmm, my sister, my brother, you need to rest. Yes, as simple as this sound, as simple as, you know, you might think it is, please, please, you need to rest. You need to sleep more. You need to actually give yourself peace, okay? If your mind is not at rest, if your body is not at rest, how do you expect it to accept a visitor? How do you expect it to accept a baby and nurture and care for a baby when it has not even finished nurturing and caring for itself. Okay, so try and put your mind at rest. Try and put your body at rest. Sleep often and sleep well. Sleep at least six to eight hours at night and during the day you can actually take naps even if you have a job. Yes, you can actually, if you have siesta breaks or some kind of, even your lunch break, just use 30 minutes out of it or 15 minutes out of it and just have a power nap and just sleep okay because one thing many people don't know is that your body actually repairs your repairs itself when it is in a state of sleep yes your body repairs itself when it's in a state of sleep so all the damage you have done to the body be, you know um by stressing out by inhaling you know all the toxins in the environment by all the rubbish you've eaten by you know whatever it is that you have done to damage your body the body actually repairs itself while you are asleep and that is why we advise i say we know like i'm a medical doctor okay that is why i advise that you eat healthy take your supplements and whatever drugs or treatment that your doctor gives you Take all those things, but you need sleep for those things to work properly. You cannot be working on three hours of sleep and all the caffeine in the world and be expecting your body to, you know, accept a child. It's not going to work, okay? Yeah, so you need to actually give yourself rest and sleep and just relax, okay? Do things that can help you relax. Do things that, you know, make you happy. Do things that will put your body in a zen state, okay am i communicating yes and then the last but not the least tip is go and see a proper fertility expert yes if you are having fertility issues please go and see a proper fertility expert they are called re which is reproductive Endro endocrinologist okay i don't know if i pronounce this right but go and see a proper fertility expert especially in, if you're in nigeria if you're in nigeria you might be seeing your gp or a normal guy and they won't tell you that they don't know what is wrong with you they will not tell you that they are not trained for 
you know, this particular issue. They'll just be telling you all kinds of things and be taking you round and round. It's some people that have been battling infertility for years. The only reason why they are, they waited that long is because they haven't gone to see the right person, which is so sad. Like, why can't you just tell the person that, why can't you refer your patient to a, a to someone who is more qualified, you know? So, yeah, um, if you're battling infertility of any type, secondary, primary, or, you know, semi-infertile, infer whatever it is, as long as you're trying to have a baby and it's not, you know, happening for you like you want, please go and see a reproductive endocrinologist or a fertility expert. Yes, they are more expensive than, you know, the regular doctors, but yeah, if you have the money, please just go and see them, okay? Yeah, so those are all the tips I have for right now, but if you have any more tips, just leave them in the comment section. And the next part I'm going to talk about now is what to do while you wait, okay? Yeah, so apart from seeing a fertility expert, please live your life while you are waiting live your life enjoy yourself travel do things that you never thought of doing before go skydiving go bungee jumping go mountain climbing you know <laughs> whatever it is okay don't do too much okay don't increase the, the uh what they call it don't increase adrenaline in your body because it might actually you know interfere with your fertility okay but i'm just saying live your life do not stay and wallow in self-pity don't be a recluse you know just because you're not getting pregnant when you want to don't care what people think or say their opinions do not actually count their opinions do not actually count okay so rest sleep have fun enjoy yourselves that is you and your husband enjoy yourself relax and you know just try as much as possible to do a lot of things that ordinarily you wouldn't have been doing okay just so that you can get your mind off your worries of course it's not it's not easy to get your mind off your worries but try then basically hand everything over to god if you are a praying type if you're a christian if you're someone who believes in god then just pray about it okay once you pray about it once you've read the scriptures just try and you know put all your cares cast all your cares on god and just you know have faith okay have faith in god that's going to happen for you confess positively act positively make room for the baby in your house or your home you know make room for the baby imagine yourself with the baby i believe so much in the power of imagination imagine yourself with a baby act like you're carrying a baby talk to your imaginary baby you know not imaginary talk to your baby okay wherever your baby is in heaven still chilling talk to your baby have fun with your baby yeah, some people might see you and say, oh, what's wrong with this one? It's like she's acting crazy. No, you're not acting crazy. You are only activating your faith. You are only, you know, showing that you believe what you've prayed for. And you believe that God's going to do it for you, okay? So, yeah, those are the tips I have for right now. Um, I hope I was able to help. The truth is that after I did my infertility video, which is like one of my first videos on my channel, the next video was supposed to be this video. But for some reason, I just did not do it like people have even asked me several times where's the video where's the video i don't know why i just did not do it okay but lately it's like the holy spirit has been flogging me like i just have to make this video okay yeah so i hope even if it's one thing i said here that you've not heard before or you've not tried before and you tried it's going to make me happy okay so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.